Chamber, welcome back to my YouTube channel. All right, another video, another day na naman. This time we're going to talk um, the lesson that we experienced in Five One Talk that really sounds confusing. And this is one of the frequently asked question I noticed that some other teacher really don't know how to use it in a sentence and how are they going to use it in a sentence. So. If you want to know more about it, just stay tuned. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Now, let's start with this. We're going to talk about make tea versus make the tea. So here, when we say make tea, that is a general statement that could refer to making tea at any time. For example, if someone says, do you know how to make tea? So they're asking if you know the process of preparing tea. Make the tea, on the other hand, is more specific. It usually refers to a particular instance or a routine task. For example, if someone says, could you make the tea? So they're likely asking you to prepare the usual tea that you and they drink. Perhaps as part of a routine like breakfast or a tea time. To make it short, the main difference lies in the level of specificity. Make tea is more general, while make the tea is more specific. Alright, that's it. So I hope you have learned somehow from this video on how are we going to use it in a sentence and on how you're going to discuss it to your students. So here, another question that I notice is that when are we going to use at and in in sentences? So this time, let's start. When I say at, it is used to, specif to specify a precise point or location. For example, I'm at the bus stop. I'm at the bus stop or meet me at the entrance at is also used to specify a precise time for example the meeting is at 3 p.m. in is used to indicate a larger area where something is encompassed or enclosed for example i live in the philippines philippines is a larger area so we use in another example she is in the park park is a large area too so in is also used to indicate a period of time for example I'll finish the report in an hour. Or, he was born in 1990. So, that's how we use in and at in sentences. Remember, there are exceptions and more specific uses, but this should help. Uh, this should help you with the basics. Another thing, one of my students asked me, Teacher, teacher, why we use at when we say at the back and we use in when we say in in the front of? Yeah, but nga ba? We use at when we say at the back of and we use in when we say in the front of. Hmm, that's a great question. The use of preposition in English can often seem arbitrary. And it's one of the trickiest aspects of the language for learners. The phrase at the back, at the back of, uses at 
because it's indicating a specific point or location at the rear part of something. The preposition at is often used when referring to specific points or locations. On the other hand, in, in the front of or in front of uses in because it's indicating a position that is forward or ahead ahead of something but not necessarily a specific point the purpose the preposition in is often used to indicate being enclosed or surrounded and when you're in front of something you're surrounded by the space in front of it however these rules aren't hard and fast and there are many exceptions exceptions in many cases prepositions usage is based on the convention and what sounds natural to native speakers i hope this helps let me know if you have any other questions that's all for today thank you for watching and please once again don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos bye